where actors fight, and jump off buildings, stuntmen fly, cars flip over, and everyone defies death. Welcome to Diddy's Only, and today we are counting the top 10 greatest movie stunts. Number 10, The Plane Heist, The Dark Knight Rises. Christopher Nolan wanted his Batman trilogy to feel realistic, and that included the stunts. The most impressive moment has got to be the hijacking scene in The Dark Knight Rises. Sir, now what's the next step of your master plan? Crashing this plane. Mullen really threw a bunch of stockmen out of a C-130 onto the side on another plane when the exterior shots at least. Yeah, he actually popped the planes together and suspended one midair. Topping things up, that fuselage is really falling thousands of miles to Earth. Look out below. Number 9, Sliding Down the Pole, Police Story. Jackie Chan doesn't believe in stunt doubles, thanks to his do-it-yourself attitude. He's been slashed by sword. crushed between vehicles, and almost died in honor of God. But this crazy stunt from police story nearly left him paralyzed. Jackie slides down a 70-foot pool, getting zapped by light bulbs all the way down, before crashing through a sheet of glass, and landing in a kiosk. This stunt almost snapped his spine, and left Jackie with a dislocated pelvis and second-degree burns. Number 8, the Astro Spiral Jump, the man with the golden gun. My name is Bond, James Bond. James Bond movies are known for clever gadgets, beautiful women, and amazing stunt work. And like this scene from Live and Let Die, work got the stat man runs across a crocodile bridge. But the 360 degree barrel roll from the man with the golden gun is Bond at his best. You're not thinking that. I sure am, boy. With precise calculations from a Cornell University computer, professional driver bumps Willard, launches an aimed hornet of a spiral ram, does a complete corkscrew, and lands safely on the other side. <laughs> Number 7 The Chariot Trace, Ben Ha. In the most expensive movie of its day, Ben-Hur is best remembered for its $1 million chariot race, which star Charlton Heston do most his own driving. But things almost ended tragically when stockman Joe Cannot filled in for the film's hero. In this famous scene, Cannot was going too fast and was improperly hoped in. When his chariot bounced in the air, Joe went flying over the front. Fortunately, Cannot was able to drag themselves back inside. The number six under the truck, Raiders of the Lost Ark. In 1939 Yakima Cannot stunned audiences by dropping under a team up forces and a wheels up a stagecoach. Over four decades later, Steven Spielberg paid tribute to the scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark, only this time with a ten-wheel truck. Terry Leonard performed this fantastic beat, but only after friend and fellow stockman Glenn H. Randall Jr. agreed to take the wheel. A small ditch was dug underneath to help Leonard move around, but if he'd made just one wrong move, Indiana Jones would have ended up roadkill. Number 5, Crawling Through the Coal, Drunken Master 2. The Jackie Chan is the king of practical effects. After all, he's the guy who rolled over a table saw and spit chili pepper juice onto his knuckles. And in this action flick, Jackie almost barbecued himself to death. 
In Drunken Master 2 climactic fight, Jackie goes flying into a pit of flaming coals and nearly catches on fire trying to scramble out. Perfectionist Jackie performed this scene three times before he was satisfied resulting in permanent scars and one awesome stunt. Number 4, The Ship's Must Scene, Death Group. The stop woman Zoe Bell has done some awesome work in films like Catwoman where she made a colossal 26 story jump. But Bill is most famous for her collaborations with director Quentin Tarantino. Not only she double for a mid Thurman in Kill Bill. She also found herself hanging onto the hood. Have a Dodge Challenger in Death Proof. A 1970 Dodge Challenger with a white paint job? Yep, that really Bell, flipping and wailing around as those cars collide. And there's no CG in this crazy chase. It's just one brave woman holding on for dear life. Number 3, The Collapsing Wall, Steamboat Bill Jr. A silent star with by Bill training, Buster Keaton wow audiences with jump dropping stunts that it put modern day filmmakers to shame. In this iconic scene from Steamboat Bill Jr., a giant wall balls right on top of him, but fortunately there's a window in there just at the right spot. Of course it looks simple, but that wall weighed two tons. Caton only had a few inches clearance on either side, and if he'd missed his mark, the wall would have crushed him like a book. Number 2, Scaling the Bridge, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Copy. Tom Cruise is completely crazy when it comes to stands in a way. Set outside the Boas Holy Fuck, the world's tallest building in this mind-blowing scene, we find him dangling over 1700 feet in the air with the help of a few cables digitally erased later off course. Just trying not to gasp when he lets go and plummets for two and a half stories. Eventually with just one roll Cruz runs down the building, jumps over a camera and soars on crosswinds one and a half miles above the ground. Number 1, The Clock Tower Fall. Project A. Jackie Chan was a fan of silent movies and our topic pays homage to the famous clock tower scene from Safety Last. Only unlike Harold Lloyd, Jackie was actually three stories up in the air, and then he let go. Jackie tumbles 50 feet down, tearing through, before hitting the ground with his head. Unhappy with the first shot, Jackie performed the stunt two more times. He even included two different takes on the final film so we can moan and groan even more. Do you agree with our list? For more amazing top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to videos only.